Let's share about 10 features I love about Samsung Notes and why that is my only note-taking app. Hey everybody and welcome back to the channel. My name is Nick Russell and this is Let's Chat Tech with Nick. Now, back in February of 2024, I made a video talking about Samsung Notes. The only thing was in that video, I talked more about using it with my digital planner and not as much about the feature. So I thought it's a year later, let's talk about Samsung Notes again and talk about the 10 features I love most about using Samsung Notes. And the best part, whether you're a professional, whether you're a student, entrepreneur, it doesn't matter. Samsung Notes can be used for anything. And that's exactly what we'll dive into in this video. Now let's chat about page styles and the page templates. Now with Samsung Notes, there is a ton of different templates. So whether you're a professional, a student, somebody that wants to just sit and draw and sketch something out, there's a template for everybody. Now, the way you get to your templates is the top right hand corner. You're gonna see those three dots. Tap on that and then a little bit down, you're gonna see page templates. From there, you can select whatever template you want from graph paper to lined paper to different sizes of lined paper. So thicker lines, thinner lines, graph paper, or even sheet music. So whatever the case may be, there's a template for just about everybody. Now let's talk about the second feature. Let's talk about the easy writing pad. And now if you're like me, you struggle with writing on a touchscreen with your S Pen and you struggle keeping it writing small and keeping it within the lines. So the easy writing pad makes it super easy and a great way to keep your all your notes organized and very neat. Now, here's how you do that. All you do is at the top where the toolbar is, you're gonna see an A with an arrow next to it. Tap on that and at the bottom, you're gonna see a pop-up window, which is the pad where you're gonna write in. And then on your note, you're gonna see a little orange square block. And you could actually expand that to make it a little bit bigger. Put that on the page where you want and you could start writing. But the cool thing is using your finger, you can move that pad around. So as you're writing, you can move it over, slide it back to the next line and keep on writing. That way you've got a much bigger space to write in, but the note is actually normal sized and easy to keep within the lines. Now, I've already talked about keeping your notes neat. Now here's a really cool feature that kind of goes along with that. That's the Align Your Handwriting tool. Now, if you're like me, if you're just taking a note with on the notes without the easy writing pad, your notes are kind of a little off center, kind of a little up a little bit, never straighten on the lines. This easy handwriting tool, the Align Handwriting tool can help with that. And here's how you do that. So after you're done taking your notes, you're gonna either use the lasso or the rectang rectangle select tool and select the text that you want to align. From there, you're gonna, once you have that, you'll see the menu option, pull that down, and then you'll see align handwriting. And there you go, from being on an angle, it'll automatically straighten it out, and then you could use the rectangle or lasso tool to make your text bigger, smaller, move it around, whatever you need to make your handwriting in your notes look a lot neater. Now this Samsung feature is really cool if you love taking notes using your own handwriting, but like the look of text a lot better. Now you can do that in two ways. So the first is after you write out a sentence or two, you can use the lasso or the rectangle select tool again and select that text. And from there, what you're going to do is you're gonna tap on the three dots and then tap on convert to text. And that's it. It'll take your handwriting and convert it to text. Now, I will say, if your handwriting is super neat, it'll be a breeze. If your handwriting's kinda like mine and not that great, that might be a challenge. But here's the other way you can do that too. 
If you go up to the top and look at the pen with the T icon, you can type right out a word and it'll instantly turn it into text. So if you're writing out Samsung is the best, you could put out write Samsung, it'll convert it to text. Then type write is the best. Now this will take a little bit longer, but it'll automatically convert your handwriting to text instantly instead of having to write everything out and then select and then have that convert to text. But those are two ways you can turn your handwriting into text. Now this Samsung Notes feature is probably one of my favorite. It's something that I use all the time. If you're somebody that likes to study or use notes to do your research and you like to have things color coordinated, this is the best feature for you. So if you're busy and you're not thinking about changing out the colors as you're taking notes, you can do that after the fact. So say you're in class or you're in a meeting or even just doing research for a YouTube video. You're using Samsung Notes to do all of your research or take notes in class, and then you wanna spice it up a little bit and change the color of your headline, different paragraphs. All you have to do is use the, either the lasso or the rectangle tool and highlight around the text that you wanna change that color. And then you'll see that menu pop up, tap change style, and from there, all you have to do is pick the different color that you'd like, or you could even change the thickness of the pen. So if you want it to be a little bit thinner, a little bit thicker than the rest of the note, you could do it all right there. Now using Samsung Notes is not just about taking notes and being creative. It's also a very productive tool. And in Samsung Notes, you can create your own to-do list with a checkable checkbox next to each item. And here's how you do that. Now the downfall to this feature is it's not set up for handwriting, it's only for typing in. But say you wanna quickly type in a to-do list and you don't wanna get into another app like Todoist where you type in your task and then you have to give it a filter, a label, put it into a project. You just wanna have a quick list and you don't want it on a piece of paper, you wanna take it with you. So type that out using text, task one, enter, task two, enter. And then from there, hold down on the text and then highlight everything that you want to make into a checklist. From there in the bottom left-hand corner, you're going to see a little checkbox. Tap that and it'll automatically turn all of that text into a to-do list automatically. And as you go through, say you're using it as a grocery list, tap on each of the boxes and it'll check that task off. Now Samsung Notes really shines when it comes to editing PDFs. Now it doesn't matter if you're wanting to download a PDF and save it in Samsung Notes or you want to edit, draw on, or whatever the case may be. Samsung Notes is the perfect app for that. Now the way I use it, I use it to sign client contracts. And here's how to do that. When you open your Samsung Notes, in the top right hand corner, you're gonna see a little square with a plus sign and a PDF in the middle. All you have to do is tap on that, go to the location on your phone where your PDF is, open that up, and you can type on it with text, use your S Pen to draw, or like me, sign at the bottom, so you actually have your signature, and then you could resave that as a PDF and then email it back you can even email it right from Samsung Notes to whoever you're sending that document to. Samsung Notes is an incredibly powerful note-taking tool, but it's also a lot of fun as well. And that's where Galaxy AI comes in. With Samsung Notes, you can have a lot of fun sketching out just about any image that you want to draw. And the cool thing is with Samsung Notes, it'll use the Galaxy AI and convert it into a really fun looking image. So when you take your Samsung Notes and you draw whatever it is that you wanna draw, all you're gonna do is you're gonna tap on the Galaxy AI button in the top toolbar. And from there, you're going to circle around your image. The cool thing now is it'll give you an option. If it's watercolor and 
illustration, a sketch, pop art, or even a 3D cartoon. And then all you have to do is tap generate. From there, it's gonna take that image that you selected and you drew, and it's gonna turn it into a really fun 3D pop art or a sketch, whatever the case may be. So if you're somebody like me and you can't draw, that'll help you create a really cool image. Something really cool about Samsung and its ecosystem and that really works with Samsung Note is how it syncs so easily across all of your devices. So if you're taking notes on your Z Fold 4, like me, 5 or 6, or if you're on your Galaxy Book, or if you're using one of the Galaxy tablets, your notes will sync automatically throughout all of your devices. So you could have your tablet in class or in a meeting taking a note, and then if you're out and about networking and you wanna refer back to that note, it's right there on your phone. And then when you get back to your desk, it's on your laptop and ready to review and use all those notes, research notes, whatever the case may be. With Samsung Notes, you can organize all of your notes into folders. And this is something I've talked about before, but I use what's called the PARA method, projects, areas, resources, and archive. So I have four folders set up in my Samsung Notes, and I organize all of my notes within those four. Something that's urgent and has a deadline goes into the projects. Something that's ongoing and I refer to quite often is in my areas, my resources, things that I'm gonna use as a research and a tool to learn from, and then archive, obviously notes that I probably won't need again so they get archived. But here's how you create those notes. So what you're gonna do is you're going to open up your Samsung Notes and then hit the folder that's on the menu along the left-hand side. And then from there, what you're gonna do is you're gonna tap on the three dots in the top right-hand folder and then add a folder there. Now you can add as many folders as you want, as little as you want, and then to move a file or a note into one of those folders, all you have to do is with your finger, press and hold down on the note, and you'll kind of see it pop a little bit, and then drag it into a folder, just like you're doing on your desktop computer. So that's it. That is the 10 best features that I absolutely love using when I use Samsung Notes in my Galaxy Z Fold 4. Hopefully you enjoyed the video, and out of all of those 10 features, which are the ones that you use and which are the ones that you think are your favorite? Let me know in the comments below and I'll see you on the next video.